Hello and welcome. My name is Manuel Quintana and I'm going to be the instructor for this Introduction to SQL Server Integration Services class or SSIS for short. I am going to be with you through the entire duration and I hope you're excited. If you're here, business developer, maybe you've seen a little bit of SSIS, maybe you haven't seen any, that's okay. That's what this class is for. It's an introduction, but trust me, by the end of it, you are going to be well knowledge and feel really comfortable with SSIS. So this class, this introduction to SSIS, it's really meant for those that are entering into that, biz, that BI developer area. Maybe you know a little bit already about T-SQL, you have a little bit of an understanding of data modeling. It's not really meant to be the very first topic you dive into in the world of business intelligence. Because we are going to be doing a lot of work in a designer, we're going to be using a GUI, an interface there in Visual Studio to drag and drop components, but still, knowing and understanding the capability and using things like T-SQL or any sort of programming language is going to be important. Now, we're going to be learning this throughout the class. So really, you could come into this with just the barest understanding of database, relational databases themselves, uh, just relationships, just a brief understanding of data modeling. And you should be well off it for this. This class is meant for those just kind of venturing for the first time into that BI developer world. So if, you wanna, if you're wondering what exactly you might need to know before even starting this to ensure that the class goes fantastic and goes great, one, it's all about making sure you have all the right resources. So make sure you've got everything downloaded, going, running, Visual Studio, SQL Server Management Studio, all of the above. I've got a video already that kind of talks you through this information and helps and guides you as far as on the installation. We have a nice little uh, walkthrough on that. So as, soon, as long as you have that information, you're ready to learn, you're ready to take a more developer-centric approach to this where we might do a little bit of coding. We're gonna be doing definitely some T-SQL and we have to take this really logical approach to how we're gonna move data around. Because as we're gonna learn, SSIS is an ETL tool. It's for extracting data, transforming that data, and then loading that data. So as far as BI previous skills, I would say a little bit of T-SQL helps. Having an understanding of relational databases, fantastic. And really, just having an understanding of how to connect, like the idea of like source data and information just as that. That's really it. I mean, this is an introductory class. It is in the BI developer track, but you don't need too much to get started. And you don't need too much to ensure that things are gonna go great. Trust me, we've got this class set up in such a way that you'll be ready and roaring to go once it's all said and done. So the reason why you're here is because data is everywhere. We're pulling it in so fast, people don't even know what to do with it nowadays. And a lot of times, we need to move that data into different areas, we need to clean up that data, and that's what SSIS, or SQL Server Integration, is all about. That's what it can handle, and that's what it can do. Pulling from various different sources, creating some logic to clean things up to our organizational standards, and then putting it in some sort of centralized area that eventually will make reporting much easier. It is a massive piece of the business intelligence life cycle, right? The idea of ETL, extracting, transforming, and loading exists everywhere. So SSIS is an integral part of the business intelligence stack that Microsoft has as an offering. There are other ETL tools out there, but SSIS is one of the most popular ones in the entire industry and in, in the entire working area of business intelligence. So yes, SSIS is massive. It is here to stay. If we kind of compete against the idea of cloud services and what can be done there, there is a kind of a comparable offer that is coming into the market. It's been around for a little bit now, but we're talking about Azure Data Factory. But still, integration services still has its place. One, it is gonna be the only on-premise solution because Azure Data Factory is a cloud-based technology. So if it's on-prem, they have to use that versus Azure Data Factory. As time goes on, we might see a little bit of movement from SSIS over to Azure Data Factory, but when that time arrives, we already have a training platform, a training class that you can watch so you can learn about it. And there's gonna be a lot of parallels, a lot of understanding on what, when you learn SSIS, there's some nice crossover in understanding what Azure Data Factory is doing. As of right now, it's still massive, it's still important, and it'll absolutely, if you're in the in the kind of the job marketplace, you're looking to get something, being a BI developer with an SSIS skill set is quite something to have on the resume. 
So SSIS has been around for quite a long time, right? 2005, 2008, even before that, we had 2004, which was DTS. This ETL process, this type of a tool has been around for a long time. And what we offer here that's different is the fact that I'm talking to you right now. SSIS changes with the versions of SQL Server, and we ensure that what you're learning is gonna be the newest and the best offerings. That's why we're using the newest technologies, the databases, we're trying to keep us up to date with the data and the techniques that we're leveraging as far as using SSIS to move data around that we're showing those to you. And all together in one nice consolidated environment. We're gonna take this piece by piece and one from one logical piece of understanding to the next. And we're gonna build upon that knowledge. So at the end, you have a nice sturdy building block. Think about it that we're gonna build you up into a nice castle, right? building those blocks all the way up so you feel strong, you feel knowledgeable, and you have a firm understanding of integration services. So you're gonna be sticking with me for the entirety of this class and when we finally hear that drum roll, when we're nearing that finish line near the end, it's gonna be quite a long while, but it's all fantastic content, right? Hours and hours of learning because that's what you're here for, to take it all in and become a a just knowledgeable, become better than that person right next to you and understanding SSI is taking this under your control. You get this skill set. Once we're there at the very end of it, you're going to be able to go, go into your organization, find out those data sources, understand like this transactional environment. Let's take these tables. Let's denormalize. Let's consolidate it. Let's move that over here. Let's use SSI. Yes. So that we can manage and maintain our data warehouse tables, our dimensions and our fact tables. You will be in charge of all of that. You have an understanding and the capabilities to help your organization in extracting data from wherever it exists, transforming it, and then loading it wherever it needs to reside. And you're gonna do this and set it up in a way that it's gonna be dynamic and it's gonna be scheduled and it's gonna be automatic, which is gonna make everything so much more efficient. So hopefully I've gotten you excited. Hopefully you know and you're ready for what you're getting into because integration services is big but it's awesome so if you're ready so am i i'll see you in the next video